Welcome to the DIY McLeod channel. Thanks for checking it out. This video, I'm really going to let it kind of play out and not narrate as much as normal. Uh, just because this is really a part one to a two-part series. So what I'm doing in this video is just milling out the head of a putter. And so you're going to hear some of the milling process. And if that's going to bug you, you may want to turn it down a bit. With that being said, I will front load the beginning of the video with some information, just so you know what's going on. At this point in the video, I'm just doing an engraving pass with a white side 1540 engraving bit or 60 degree bit. Uh, it worked well, but I was running it too fast and too shallow because after that pass, I did a facing and it nearly erased the engraving. Right here I'm going into the adaptive clearing with an Amana high speed steel quarter inch two flute. The Amana high speed steel end mills do a good job with aluminum for me. I'm running this one at 75 inches per minute without any lubrication. That's the feed rate, 75 inches per minute. I started the adaptive clearing at about 70% the speed, but quickly realized it could handle the 100% speed of 75 inches per minute, so I let it loose on the first pass once I realized it could handle it. I'm doing a depth of cut of 0.04 inches with the passes. I use double-sided tape to hold the stock down with this piece. And I used my hold downs that I 3D printed just to hold it in place for side to side movement. If you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. I put out a video about once every two weeks. And as I said, this is a part one of two. I'm going to finish the putter head in the next week or so. I used Fusion 360 to create the design. And really I was just going with it as I started the design. I had no real idea in mind at first and I actually created a design, thought that would be the one I would use, then scrapped the whole thing and went with the one I did use actually. And I made a small modification to that one even before cutting it. In the end, Fusion's a really good program even just to put ideas together. If you enjoy working with a CNC or 3D printer and you have not used Fusion 360, I'd highly recommend giving it a try. The memory storage that this system has, I don't know how it does it, but you can go backward and forward in a way that is somewhat seamless and that's really helpful. I don't always do CNC videos, but I'm trying to do more of them as I go. Uh, but if you like building or you like designing, I would appreciate you click and subscribe if it's something you're interested in checking out again. Uh, this is part one of a part two build, so I hope you come back for it.